Well, first of all, City, from Citibank, we're very excited to be part of this. This is the first time we have, uh, we have been a sponsor of this and we decided to be a gold sponsor. Uh, we see technology as a key differentiator between us and the other banks. Uh, we believe the banks who can integrate technology into their service delivery platforms will have an advantage. And I think it's important that as a young nation with a large population of uh, younger people who are very adept to technology, that we move to the crest of the third generation wave on technology which is coming in. So it's important for us to be seen to be associated with this and I think the basis of Expo 2017 is a very good platform. I've been seeing people come in the last four days and I'm quite impressed. The footfalls very good and uh, as you know we have a stall here. Uh, I, it's, it's a very high quality stall. It's very central. I can see lots of attention, lots of interest of people coming in, checking out our products. We have one of the best internet bankings in the country. We are the exclusive franchisee for American Express cards. You can use our tablet banking, our uh, city touch internet banking to uh, pay utility bills, uh, transfer money use the central bank uh, fund transfer um, uh, uh, software applications like BSEH, EFTN, RTGS and, and so on. It's really re a very robust and strong platform. So it makes sense for us to be a part of this and I think you will see us in coming years uh, assuming a, a more stronger or more robust role in this. As you will hear from the basis of Expo 2017, uh, this, uh, there is a roadmap for the country as a whole to reach about $5 billion worth of exports. But from Citibank's side, uh, we, want to move, we, we want to take advantage of the next wave of technology, which is basically remote uh, banking, where uh, banking services, conveniences are possible to be ex accessed from wherever the customer is. The customer may be at home, at office, in the car, traveling abroad, in a plane, wherever he should be able to access his uh, accounts, make uh, utility bill payments, make card payments, uh, top up bills, and etc. So we have introduced a host of products and we are going to introduce more. Uh, what we have immediately now is one of the best internet bankings in the country. So you can use smartphones, you can use tablet bank, uh, tablets, you can use um, smart watches to, uh, to do all of these services. You can even apply for loans. You can uh, create fixed deposits and so on. And we are going to expand this even more. The next generation thing will be smart branches. And smart branches are an easy way for a bank to expand its footprint across the country. Smart branches take up usually one-fourth to a, a quarter of a normal bank's branches uh, space. It's highly automated. You have video chat, fat, uh, chat sessions. Um, you can deposit money. You can withdraw money. You can issue pay orders. You can... Uh, uh, you can uh, video chat with a relationship team who's at a remote location and apply for home loans or personal loans and so on. So the future is quite exciting and it's this combination of branch, ATM, uh, online banking, internet banking, smart banking and others which together will form part of our digital banking strategy. The most important thing is um, technology has been introduced in the past in, say, in, in an ad hoc manner, where you put in one particular aspect or you put in one product, then you put in another pro product. But this time, by creating a digital banking um, structure in the bank, there will be a cohesive strategy on how to leverage the best um, um, technologies going forward. So I'm quite excited about this, and I think, I, I, I believe this is one of our biggest opportunities because Bangladesh is ready for this and uh, for the government I would say uh, the 2006 ICT policy was a good step but I think we need to move uh, beyond that with the central bank taking the lead in terms of encouraging the banking sector to uh, leverage of these uh, new technologies coming in. They can cut costs and if you cut costs the benefit goes to the consumers.
I've been watching your coverage of the uh, Soft Expo 2017, and I'm I'm actually quite impressed. Uh, I understand DG Bangla 24 has a very high fo focus on uh, the IT sector, the ICT sector, and we really need this to happen. Uh, our nation's strength is actually the uh, large population, the young, the young age population. They are very quick to grasp the essentials of tech IT technology, ICT technology. And it's mediums like uh, Digibangla 24 or even say Prothamalo Science Magazine or others which can actually generate more interest and um, which will go a long way towards making us, uh, uh, making the $5 million target, export target uh, possible. So I thank you for your coverage of this and I would request you to keep doing it.